Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Are you happy to be here? Yes, this is the children's sermon. Time for children's sermon. We are sitting at Jesus' feet. And this month, the Credoral A has been guiding us in a wonderful topic of prophecy. Which topic? So because you are friends of Credoral A, Credoral A is a class of children zero to two. You know, they cannot talk. Can they talk? So we'll volunteer to pray because they cannot talk. Who will come very fast? Who will come? Come, you are near me. Thank you. Let us pray. Dear kindly and lovely Father, I thank you for this day. As we start, as we start this children's sermon, please may you bless us into your hands. Please may you bless the babies ca- that cannot talk. Please, please may you give them voice to. Please may you give them loud voice to talk. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Kemi, come and help us to sing one song. Kemi. So we have also friends of Credoral A. Kemi and what's your name? What's your name? Keilani. Keilani. What's your name? Keilani. Good. Keilani and Kemi. We are going to sing Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. I love you. I love you, you are my savior, you are my savior, every day, every day. Toto Yesu, Toto Yesu, nakupenda, nakupenda, wewe ni mokozi, wewe ni mokozi. Wakila siku, wakila siku. Shine, shine, shine for Jesus every day. Thank you, Kemi. Thank you, Keilani. So, we are back to our topic of gift of prophecy. So, Credoral A has been guiding us about this gift. We have looked so far at about two questions. What is a gift? What is the gift of prophecy? Who can receive this gift? And who are the true prophets and who are the false prophets? So today we are moving to another interesting area of what is the purpose of prophecy? What is the purpose? Why do we learn prophecy? As little children, as big people like mommy and daddy. So the first thing is to edify the church, okay? We are learning prophecy so that we get the knowledge. To edify is to get what? Knowledge. You see people, when you're reading the Bible with your friend, another one is opening uh, the Bible, we want to understand more about the messages that God has for us, okay? So as little children, tell mommy to always read for you the Bible, to explain for you the signs of the times, to explain for you everything that is prophesied in the Bible. The next reason why we learn prophecy is to be encouraged, to get encouragement uh, from the prophecy. So when you get encouragement is that it has been prophesied that sometimes it might not be so easy for all of us Uh, It might not be so easy. Things might get tough. Saturn brings sicknesses. Saturn brings uh, terrible times. But Jesus was born to stand on our behalf. Do you know the prophet Isaiah? He prophesied something very nice. And that's why we sang the song, Baby Jesus. You know, when you come to Credoral A, that's the first song you'll be taught by mommy. That's the first song you'll be taught by, by your teachers. And Prophet Isaiah made a nice prophecy about the birth of Jesus, and it happened. And you know, that gives us encouragement that that prophecy of Jesus, when he died on the cross, it was also prophesied. And Isaiah called on people. They were not doing good things. They were not worshiping the right God. And Isaiah told them, Please, please, let us turn to Jesus. Even at home, when you fight with your sister, when you're not finishing your work, we are told that, can you be like Jesus every day? Do you remember your song for adventurers? 
You want to be like Jesus? Every day to do good things and to turn to Jesus. The next thing is to be comforted. We want to learn prophecy so that we get comfort. Look at that baby on our screen. Is it crying? When did you cry last? Maybe even this morning and your mommy comforted you. Maybe something happened. Your tummy was aching. You had lost your toy. And even us as a church, Satan can bring something that makes us sad. Can we all be sad? When you're sad, you cry, you hold your chin, right? But Jesus gives us the future. God tells us the future that it will be well. Prophecy tells us that despite all these things happening, Jesus will come back again and all will be well. So prophecy helps us to understand that the future is bright. It gives us comfort. And in Matthew 24, we are given all the signs of the time so that you encourage and you are being given comfort. And we are also given uh, protection. We are prepared for the last days. Last days, there will be wars. There will be rumors of wars. There will be sicknesses. People will be fighting. So prophecy helps us to know that the future is not so bright. But because we have God with us, he, we have the prophecy telling us that all will be well, that Jesus is coming back soon. Let us be prepared. So always be prepared, do the right thing, and follow what the Bible tells us to do. Because Jesus has promised in Revelation 22, verse 12, that he's doing what? He's coming back again. So even mommies and daddies, explain to our children, explain to us as little children how Jesus will come back soon so that the false prophet don't tell us lies that, hey, we are here, Jesus is in Mombasa, let's all go to Mombasa. No, all eyes will see God. We'll see Jesus coming back again. And that is why we have the basis of our belief in fundamental belief number 18 of the Adventist church. At, we are believing that prophecy will come to pass. All that has been said will come to pass. So the prophecy helps us to prepare as Adventists. Who will pray for us to finish our story? Anaya, come. Oh God, thank you for that beautiful sermon. As we go to sit down and listen to your word, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Thank you. Until next, Sabbath, bye-bye.